Hello everyone, thank you for watching this video. In this video, we are going to see how we can uh, break down a monolithic Python architecture into a microservice Python architecture. Then we are going to see how we can deploy both of these architectures inside a Kubernetes cluster. We will do this following this step. First, let's talk about our Python application. It's a simple application that contains two functionalities, one functionality for multiplication and another for summation. So um, we have an arithmetic package containing two mod modules, one module for multiplication cont containing a multiplication function, one module for summation containing a summation function. Okay. Our application uh, is consumed through a command line interface. So I can consume this, these functionalities directly from the command line interface or I can start from the command line interface a backend service, either with this architecture, monolithic architecture, or this architecture. We're going to see more, more about it. So first, I will consume uh, the in the example. I will test my multiplication and sum directly from the command line interface. Then we are going to to, to start this this backend service. So well, this is my command line interface containing these commands. So for the multiplication and sum uh, functionality to can be consumed directly, I'm can I use this command and this command. So here I'm doing the multiplication of these elements. Can can have as much elements as I want. And I'll do the same for the summation. So two plus four plus four is it's ten. Great, it works. So now I'm using the same common line interface, but to start the microservice architecture. The microservice architecture it's a simple Flask application containing three routes: one for the health check, one for the sum functionality, and the other for multiplication functionality. Notice that here I'm calling my sum function and here I'm calling my mill function. Okay, I'm starting the service. So we're going to test it. The service is listed on port 8000. I'm pinging my service. And uh, here I'm testing my sum functionality. So I'm summing these elements. And here I'm doing the same for the mill functionality. Great, it works as, as expected. So now we are going to, to start this architecture. We are going to start three services. So basically here we have broken the functionalities into independent services. I have one service for that do just the sum and one service that, that does just the multiplication. And the master microservice plays the role of a proxy, it will forward the request it receives either to the sum microservice or to the mill mic microservice. So I do that. Starting master microservice. Starting mill microservice. Starting some microservice and let's test them. So here I'm, I'm uh, pinging directly my master microservice. Here I'm sending the request um, for summation directly to my uh, some microservice. I'm using here the port 8002. So my master uh, my some uh, microservice is listening on port 8002. My master microservice is listening on port 8000. So I'm sending the request from here to here directly. And I will also show sending the request from here to here. So it works. And now I'm going to send the request from here to here to be forwarded either to here or to here. So uh, I'm, I'm sending uh, some request to my master microservice. So it has been the request has been sent to here, then to here. I'll do the same for multiplication from here to here to here. Great, it seems to be working perfectly. 
okay so now what we are going to do we are going to deploy both of these architectures inside the kubernetes cluster first we are going to deploy a monolithic architecture one deployment with three pod replicas and one node port service that's going to expose this deployment to the outside world and then this architecture three deployments with the uh, one pod replica each and three um, three uh, services one node port and two cluster ip so first we are going to start minikube minikube is a kube, local kubernetes cluster that you can have locally then i'm gonna run this command this command uh, allows me to export some environment variable as uh, as i can make minikube aware of my Docker registry i'm gonna build my image my docker image which is uh, which is this application uh, and have it the starting point the command line interface so i can do basically all what i have done earlier directly from the image docker and it serves as a base for my uh, my kubernetes uh, yaml file to to, to start uh, either of, uh, to start my my services so uh i'll just make sure that i don't have any service okay so i'm gonna deploy as i said the monolithic architecture so one deployment that have three pod replicas and one not port service one deployment that has uh, three replicas using my command line interface image with the argument service monolithic listening on port 8000 and one node port service listening on port 8000 forward forward uh, for forwarding um, on a forwarding request to port 8000 actually it's listening on port uh, uh, 318 that's what we are going to do we are going to forward directly from my uh, port my local port 8000 to the node port um, service uh, to the node port service okay so uh, we are going to deploy okay so i will i should be having one deploy three pods and one additional service not ports great it's working now i'm gonna forward traffic from my local health to my uh, to my monolithic service okay. and then we do the tests we have done earlier so i'm pinging my server it works i'm testing some functionality it works I'm testing multiplication functionality it works too so here we have seen how we can deploy this architecture uh, inside kubernetes and uh, everything seems to be working now we are going to deploy this architecture so i'm deleting the pods and the, and the services and for this architecture we have so for this architecture we have one deployment for each of the services and we have one service for each deployment and we have a config map object that sets the value of uh, some environment variables uh, okay so we are going to deploy So I should I should be I should have three deploy. Yes, and three pods too. Yes, and three services, three additional services. So this is the case: one node port and two cluster IPs. Okay, so I'm going to do again the port forwarding, but this time for to the to to the um, master service svc master service it's 
not the same service as earlier and we do the testing so I'm pinging my server the answer uh, is good um, I'm, I'm, I'm sending a post request for some fun functionality to some of these elements it works great I'll do the same here it works and I can change if I want it works too great so uh, we have seen now how we can deploy the multi-service micro microservice architecture uh, inside Kubernetes. Uh, I think that's it. Um, I hope you liked the video. Uh, a GitHub rep a link repo will be provided and also um, a link of uh, a detailed tutorial medium article about this project. Thank you for watching.